So I'm going to explain consciousness in the best way that I can in as little time as I can. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel as we introduce individuals to spirituality. So there's this like thing going around that like the hard problem of consciousness is like what is consciousness? And obviously it's uh, very different for us as human beings versus pure consciousness, which is not really any sense. It's just a feeling. Uh, but as a human um, in this three-dimensional world, what actually happens is um, we are exposed to different senses and through those senses we perceive different things. So basically you act like your eyes, your ears, your mouth, nose, it's, it's like a giant VR headset, okay? So you're putting on a VR headset and that is literally consciousness. So whatever you're seeing, smelling, hearing, tasting, touching, seeing all those different things around you, that's consciousness, but it goes a little bit deeper. It's also about what you perceive from the things that you're conscious about. So right now I see an American flag, and for me, I perceive that as America, right? Um, I perceive the different colors from it, and I perceive them as red, white, and blue, and that's what it means for me. Uh, maybe patriotism, whatever, um, all those things. Sorry, again, a little uh, cold, whatever, fever. I don't know. It's not feeling the best. But... Um, uh, so what this really, really means at a fundamental level is that consciousness is your headset. Simple as that. It's not a hard problem. And when you die, this is a really cool thing. Um, and if you're watching this, I got some good news for you. When you die, you literally get to choose whose headset you're watching at any point, at any time, um, the future, the past. Um, it's all happening right now in the present moment. And um, when you're watching this, if you hypothetically die, you could literally watch me doing this through the camera uh, once again in the present moment, which is a pretty cool thing. And um, all the people who have died in the past, um, they had to die to get to this point to give me the energy to tell you that they are okay and that their essence lives in everything around you. Um, stuff you really like to do with them every time you are doing that without them um, they're with you um, part of them is in that favorite chair you sit on part of them is in that favorite food you used to eat together and if you actually consciously um, be aware of this you'll feel that you'll feel the energy of them inside of you and um, the thing about it and it's it is sort of sad because um, they won't be seeing you in this lifetime but when um, the human beings fully awaken and it's happening very, very quickly, um, you will be with them again. And you might not even see them in their physical presence um, and because it, it doesn't really matter. It's their spiritual, their energy, that, that type of presence. That's what really matters. And you're going to feel so much infinite love with them that you don't even want to um, see them. And maybe you will. So um, how I look at this is uh, Jesus, Buddha, all those spiritual leaders, they were very high vibration individuals who did live on this three-dimensional earth. Um, well, they're actually living on the three-dimensional earth now, if you kind of conceptualize that. But they're, they're um, living in a completely other uh, stratosphere. They're probably living 500 years into the future, um, sitting in... Um, I don't know, a spaceship looking above um, Mars with, you know, Elon Musk or whoever. And um, yeah, so Consciousness 101 for beginners. Drop your comments down below. Share this with others.